Well, hello everybody. How's it going? Um, this is the uh, first video in Ohio. Not Iowa. No, we're in Ohio for sure. All right. So I asked uh, the locals, which are extremely friendly. Friendly. I'm sorry. Um, even to a big guy like me. And there's a ground uh, groundhog in there, and he comes out that way. I see him run over here. Anywho, so. I had to buy a hat to look the part. Well, I actually collect these hats, but, uh, um, anywho, I don't know why you needed to know that you didn't, but now you do. Anyhow, um, so I found this place, and I like to do a little research, so I talked to a few of the, uh, local residents, and by local I mean that's a barn, and then about 18 miles that way is the next neighbor. Um, I asked about this place. Now, um, they don't know why the people left, but apparently they left in a hurry, um, and they haven't been here in many, many years. They own that property across the street. If you could see, there's some, like, like storage, but it is completely empty. Um, trying to run through this one for a couple of reasons. I just got done, uh, starting this video with another battery that crapped out on me. Um, that's the second one, and they're like 60 bucks a piece, so that really sucks. And now this is the last one, so... We don't know why these people left, um, but they left quickly. And when I was talking to the townsfolk, oh yeah, and this is a vertebrae of some kind of animal. But here's the scary thing about this house. Ugh. Lots left behind, um, but I'll show you the scary part. Um, lots of unopened mail, tons of unopened mail. Anybody home? There are so many sounds that I don't like. Okay, so that looks like it goes into the basement. <laughs> but um, another really scary thing about this place oh, that sucks i do not like the sound of that um but anywho so i i peek in through the windows before i go into the place because i want to ask people about it if they know anything about it um look at this old lock in everything neat so that bag is half filled it's a 50 pound bag it's half filled with uh, dog food so i'm walking around the building i'm looking in all the windows i notice a lot of dog type stuff and um a lot of um excrement from dogs so i asked the town people and they said that this house is now home to some really really big mean dogs and <laughs> i don't know if the size of the thing i got in my pocket that sounded wrong i i meant my second amendment is in my pocket but anywho oh see if it feels dirty um i don't know if it would take down a pack of dogs old clothes um sunday business the new york times uh, 2007 okay lots of more dog food a whole bunch of a whole bunch of pet food wow i don't know if people come here to feed them or what? I think I had that exact fridge when I was a kid. Oh, someone's old coat. Oh, so much mold. So, I have, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a subscriber on here. I think it's Mr. Bill still. He's, he's my counter when it comes to uh, anybody home. Uh, he counts how many times I say it. So, we're at two right now because I just had a book. All right, so anybody home? That was three, Bill. Just in case you lost count. So, anywho, uh, mail everywhere. I mean, th there's just so much left behind. Little stuff. Oh, that stupid window on the door is pissing me off. Um. So I was told not to go upstairs, 
So I'm going to respect that, okay? I don't want to be killed. Also, if you can't see the fecal matter on every single step, every single step, these are very expensive, nice boots. That's one excuse, okay? There's many. <coughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, do that and freak me. Oh, God, I hate people sometimes. But this couch was chewed up, obviously by a dog, and hopefully by a dog. Um, the bottom of the doors are chewed up. I mean, like farm girl makes millions, blah, 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 queen of the frozen pizza biz. It just looks like a bowl. Man, but okay, yeah. I don't want to come in contact with whatever makes those bite marks. Um, oh, the bathroom is, God, a disaster. There's a bin, it looks empty, I'm hoping nothing's there. The toilet paper has a dog print on it, a muddy one. Why are they using toilet paper if they're going on the stairs? Uh, anyway, um, but yeah, they said, don't go upstairs. There's more likely you're more than likely you're gonna fall through the ceiling. I can see what they mean because it's bowed in certain places, but cool old place. Anyhow, um, lots of beehives. That's what you get in the south. But God, this whole video is gonna be about dog poop. I mean, come on, bro. Um, but they said they think that the dogs live upstairs too, but I, I asked if anybody home not one answer That's four bill. Um, but yeah, uh I guess not all that much to see but it's the first video here. Who's this heat wave? Wow, that's cool um but the country store I'm just I'm freaked out and amazed at the same time because I mean, clearly there are lots of dogs that live here. Um, and why, why there's so much fecal matter? I don't, I, I, I just, it's not, I don't think it's from back in the day. I am no poop expert at all, but that does not look like 10 year old poop. I'm trying to get, I absolutely heard something. Let me just switch hands. Something coming after me is going to have holes in it. I swear to God, I don't care. Um, yeah, but unopened mail. Mr. and Mrs. Thornbell. Uh, so we're in Roseburg, Ohio right now. Now I looked for a second at this. Oh, okay. To November 2009, January 2010. December, so I'm assuming that's when they left. And this is what the aftermath of it. But just really sad. There's Uno cards, so there's probably children. But I'm also getting like an old person vibe. Oh, bird feathers. Probably a dog snack. Lots of little egg cartons down there. I'm trying not to miss anything. <clears throat> and if that is an old Uno card. I'm, I'm sorry about the noise. If you're familiar with the channel, you know this is not not a headphone channel. Um, but I'm trying to see. Sorry. Yeah, that is definitely the old Uno cards. That's neat. There's something in that egg carton that I do not want to touch. Aldi, I have not seen an Aldi out here. I've been driving out here for like eight hours. Bayer Aspirin, 109. And what was that? 09? Yeah. Okay. And the newspaper in there was 07. I don't get it. I'm so confused. But anywho, that's what we've got for you folks. Um, No, I'm, I'm not grabbing that cookie jar. I am not finding like a dog head in there or anything. They didn't even use all their plates. More mail. 
yeah man some of this is open some of this is unopened um what the hell was that thing huh. it's like it's decorative I guess it's this way huh well God, if, okay, so I can't describe, but the, this floor is duct taped. I can't describe how unsafe this is. I'm going to end up in the basement, and there isn't a basement. But, um, I don't know, I'm just more curious than anything about uh, who lived here, how long ago. We're assuming, obviously, 2009, 2010. But, all right, we'll head out. <coughs> <coughs> yep, that's a black, <coughs> black mold cup. Yep, I need some uh, some filters and face masks. I really want to go up there. I really do, but that needs to stop happening. It's making so much noise, and it's right behind me, and I don't like it. I'm gonna shoot at a door. And if you guys, the dog, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm uh, yeah, dog prints. So it's recently been here. Anyway, there's a little little door there that goes into something that I want to know, but there's a bathroom right there, so I don't know, I don't know. I'm sorry, I know my other videos are better than this. Skeleton key, sweet. All right, so, I think that's it for now. All right. Phew. Now, I got here, this was closed. I guess about that much. This was closed. That is one cool little door now. Um, and this bucket was in front of it. So how the dogs are getting in, I don't know. They're smart. They're smart creatures. But all right. So we did that. Another state off the list. Um, I was in Detroit, Michigan and uh, Paw Paw, Michigan. Uh, I got some footage out there, but it was only shorts. So check the short reel. Um, and I went to, if you guys remember American Jewelry and Loan um, from the, uh, at, at the pawn show, um, I went there. I met the owner, Les. Uh, I got a picture with him, uh, talked to him and whatnot. Very funny guy, down to earth, really cool dude. Um, uh, but yeah, so that'll be, I'm trying to hit every freaking state, okay? So it's just another one. But my usual shout outs. I care about you guys so much. I, I appreciate everybody, every single last one of you. Um, I wouldn't still be doing this uh, if it wasn't for the love that I get from you guys. So I, I truly appreciate it. All right, I'm going to get my butt back on the road and try to find something else like this. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Sorry we couldn't go upstairs. I, You know me. I go to every single room. I, I do everything. But I was asked not to. Um, well, I was advised not to, and I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. I'm gonna heed that warning. Just got a bug in the eye. Okay. Well, you guys have a wonderful day. I hope your life is going great for you. If not, screw it. Turn it around. You're loved. I promise you, you're loved. I say it to people all the time. I don't know you, but I love you. Um, all my normal people, you know who you are. Thank you so much for being here for so long. Uh, everyone new, please stick around. And I will talk to y'all as soon as physically possible have a great day and you know the drill and remember bill that was for anybody homes okay all right all right you know what i love y'all